The past few years have demanded groundbreaking, life-saving scientific advances. At AstraZeneca, innovation is a direct result of their diverse workforce, who they empower to speak their minds and challenge the status quo. We visited them in Cambridge to find out how women are making a huge difference in various roles across the organisation. AstraZeneca's life-changing therapeutics are the product of its culture of creative freedom, diversity of thought and inclusiveness. More than half of AstraZeneca's employees are women, with almost half in leadership roles, making a difference not only in science, but in the communities in which they operate. In the company's African cluster, 60% of employees are women. And I'll tell you, you know that typically in Africa, that's not the representative of women in leadership in a typical industry or across the African cluster. So this is very deliberate efforts on the side of AstraZeneca in the Africa cluster to raise up women and create spaces for women to thrive and lead. Special initiatives empower girls to see the possibilities open to them. When people see what leadership looks like, feel, walk with you an entire day or a couple of days, then it becomes so much more real to them. Not only do we bring them to the workplace, which is what we did with Girls Belong here, where we say these girls belong in AstraZeneca, they belong in the roles that we are doing. I feel the moment I arrived, I thrived. Um, I, I was seen, I was heard. And um, I think what they did was they do identify people, key roles for women. And um, they gave me that. Sana was instrumental in an important update to the diabetes and Ramadan guidelines to potentially help millions of people better manage their medication while fasting. We worked with um, very uh, highly recommended uh, physicians across the region. And it's not just enough to have awareness on this. You really need to have a patient-focused approach. So there was a plethora of things that we actually uh, did. One of them, of course, was shaping the policy with the new guidelines for patients. And there was a patient uh, campaign around the same. At every stage that I've um, progressed, I've always been interested in, you know, how are the women around you being perceived? And how are the women at a more senior level um, being perceived? And I would say there's been huge progress during my career. Dr Galbraith is also dedicated to improving health outcomes for people. She spotted the potential of a cancer medicine when it was due to be discontinued. That action enabled us to turn something that was being um, parked uh, and discontinued into something that ultimately led to making a big difference. Being part of a diverse team at AstraZeneca and attending training designed to help women into leadership roles led Sophie to realise that she didn't have to work any harder than a man. I always felt that to get promoted, I need to, to do the job 100%, 120%. Um, and that course told me that actually I don't have to work harder. I just have to work the way I feel is appropriate for, for what I want to deliver. She's keen her team understands that thinking differently is a strength, not a weakness. Being scared of making mistakes, that's what pe stop people to, to do great, actually, to do great things. So my best advice to people is often, don't self-limit what you think you can do. Just because you can't do it yet doesn't mean that you can't do it in the future. The young men and women who work in AstraZeneca are brothers and sisters to other young women. They've got relatives who are young girls. We believe and we can feel the ripple effect that they feel more confident to encourage young girls within the spheres of influence to step up into the scientific space and do more because they've seen us do it as a leadership. With programs to empower communities and the wisdom to see strength in a truly diverse workforce, AstraZeneca ensures women have a seat at the table of influence.